Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Most of the you wanted me to recreate the Houston Cold's editing style. So, today, we are going to recreate one of his small clip animation using a light motion. Before we start, let's see what we are recreating today. Hmm, it's not exactly like him, but if you spend more time on this, you get better output like him. Okay friends, let's make it. Here, I have downloaded these two images from Pexels, and I modified them. I will provide download link of these images in Instagram. DM me for the assets. Now we have to adjust this image z-axis position. I am keeping this image position at 5,000. Now let's keep this image position at 4,500. Let's keep it here. Now duplicate it. Keep the copied layer position value at 4,000. Let's keep it here. Let's create more copies. Now we have to arrange same for other side too. Let's make a copy of this image and flip it horizontally. Now keep it these side. Let's create more copies. Now add the camera. Don't forget to active the camera. Now we have our composition, something like this. We will animate later. Let's add one more person behind the main subject. This image is too bright, guys. Let's decrease the brightness value a little bit. Let's keep it here and create more copies of this image. Now add a rectangular shape. Fit this shape into the canvas size. Now go to the colors and select gradient color and adjust it as shown. Now keep this layer position at 5002. Now add the position and rotation keyframes to the camera at the first frame. Move 25 frames forward and repeat the keyframes. Now at this frame, change the camera's Z-axis position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now at the first rotation keyframe, adjust the rotation as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now move to the last frame of the camera layer. At here, adjust the camera's Z-axis position as shown. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now we have something like this. Now add one more position keyframe at the middle of these two keyframes. Here change the camera's position as shown. Now we have something like this.
Now at this frame, add the scale keyframe to the rectangle layer. Move here and adjust the scale as shown. Let's create position animation also. Let's adjust the size a little bit here. Now move to the first frame and adjust the scale as shown. Now we have to add the light leaks images, or you can use videos. As you can see, we can't see the light leak image. Because of its position, let's position it. Adjust only the Z-axis position. Now blend this layer mode normal to screen. Let's keep it here. Let's create fade out animation to light leak image. If you want to make this animation look great, you need to add more light leaks images. Play with the light leak images for better output. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Also comment below who's editing you want me to recreate next.